What a dooski guys, it's Fellow 34 here with another Super Science video. So for this episode, we're gonna go and talk about something that's been on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. recently, and that's life model decoys and androids. Now to understand how an android works, we need to define what an android is. The dictionary definition is a robot with a human appearance. Alright, let's get into some of the Super Science. Android is the physical shell of the robot, which is not to be confused with artificial intelligence, which is the brain of it. In the comics and science fiction in general, androids and life model decoys have many uses. In Marvel's long history, they use life model decoys a lot. This is a self-replicating technology that users can control if they want. Alright guys, now it's time to break down LMD's life model decoys and see how they work. So from what we know, it looks and acts exactly the same as its host, carrying out tasks without anybody knowing the difference. In Marvel Comics, Nick Fury has used life model decoys in many situations, mostly when he's being targeted for an assassination by Hydra, which is like, all the time. <laughs> This means the technology would need to download the past memories of the host, almost like a USB stick carrying all the information the person has learned over their life. Now, in real life, currently we are pretty far away from uploading our brains into a computer. However, it is being developed and scientific steps are being taken towards that direction. And the answer to this might actually be in quantum-based storage. Even if we could upload our memories, our brains hold far too much information for a computer to hold. This would hypothetically create an artificial neural network that would react and process information identical to you. Technically, this would make you achieve immortality because this would develop into artificial intelligence later down the line and it would learn from its past experiences similar in the way that the host would. Now that we have the actual brain of the life model decoy, it's time to talk about how we get the actual appearance of the host. And it's actually easier than you would think. It would simply just be a 3D printer that scans your body. By this point in the future, scanning and printing technologies will be far superior and will hopefully look practically identical. With regards to the internals of the life model decoy, it would have lots of robotic parts similar to human skeletons, but no organs would be required as it is still a machine. Using basic joints for movement, the artificial neural network would be able to learn how to walk, how to talk, and run from previous memories. So with all this in mind, do you think it's possible that we could see life model decoys or androids some point in our lifetime? Do you think it could be like some science fictions where we have androids taking human jobs and would they be treated as machines or would they have basic human rights? Thank you so much for checking out this video on LMDs and androids. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Hybrid Network if you have not already. Also, if you're interested, feel free to check out my channel in the description down below. Also, what did you think about this episode of Super Science? Are you looking forward to a future full of androids? Maybe, maybe not? As always, I'm your host, Fail34. This is Super Science, and you just got educated. I'll see you guys next week. Take care.